This is Jack Pine. It's in the family Pinaceae, in the genus Pinus, and the specific epithet is Banksiana. Let's take a closer look at its characteristics. As with many of the pines, the jack pine has bark that breaks into plates. Jack pine's plates tend to be narrower, meaning they don't get quite as wide this way, and go vertically. On some of the branches, you'll see that the bark almost exfoliates or peels off. Jack pine needles are grouped in twos, and they're fairly small, and they form sort of a V shape as they come off the twig. If you're not looking close enough, it looks like they're almost singly attached, so look closely and verify that they are attached in groups of two. It's not uncommon on jack pine to find a branch like this that looks like it's mostly dead, but you still see cones that are attached, and they have not opened up at all, and they usually hug the twig fairly tight. These cones are referred to as serotonous cones, meaning they open up late. This tree has evolved and adapted with fire, and so typically the cones need a fire and the heat of the fire in order to open up the resin and drop the seed. This is also a shade intolerant tree, and so seedlings would not grow underneath this tree, and so a fire that clears out the landscape and it clears the above ground portions of the tree and opens the cones gives a nice seed bed for developing saplings. Here's somewhat of the form of at least a landscape jack pine. You can see that the branches with needles are only those that are in the direct sun. In the shaded portion, all of the branches have been pruned off or died off. And if you look closely against the sky, you can see remnants of cones, not remnants, actual cones that have not yet opened. And so we only see foliage or the needles in the bright sun. Often the landscape jack pines will be a little more misshapen, and you can find that in natural stands of jack pine as well.